So this little beast here is called the yellow striped army worm. Um, it, uh, it, it's, it's a uh, very common uh, little creature. Uh, one of the Noctuid mods, the larger family, uh, the scientific genus is Spadoptera ornithogalli. Uh, it's kind of variable, but usually has that stripe on the side. Uh, this guy has three or four generations. When it first comes out, they're gregarious. There's a bunch of them they'll feed together, and often it gets skeletonized leaves and so forth, and then later on they spread out like this guy's done. Feed them a wide variety of different plants. Um, you know, non, mostly non-woody plants, but they feed on all sorts of different kinds of plants, including some vegetables, unfortunately. Another common name for them is the cotton, uh, is the cotton cutworm, for example. So three, four generations to reproduce, usually by the, uh, the fifth time that they shed their skin, or I should say on the sixth time, um, they'll crawl down to the bottom, um, make a little, you know, a little uh, kind of just below the surface, line the, line the area in, in silk and make a uh, pupate. That's how, also how they overwinter. So a neat little uh, critter uh, here feeding on primrose. Not, uh, you know, unfortunately can sometimes, if it feeds on stuff we don't like it to feed on, uh, might be considered a pest, but in reality provides lots of food and is a common uh, type of moth that uh, moth caterpillar that a lot of different things feed on and so forth. So the yellow striped, the yellow striped um, army worm, a very neat, neat little beast.